this is Alicia Moulton from The Honey Company and today I am wearing this Russian beekeeper's veil that my husband brought back from Russia when he was there. Um, as we've done bee events and I've worn this, um, I've had a lot of people asking me questions about it, like where we got it and if they could have one. And so I've had a lot of people asking me questions about where we got it and if they can have one. And um, I finally decided to hit the sewing room and to make some to sell. So this is my original one. I changed a little bit of things from the original design. This, it's quite old, like it's maybe 20 years old and the elastic has worn out. So on my new model, I decided to just sew that to the brim and make that one piece. And it still has this mesh veil that goes across most of your face and then still this bottom piece. So let me show you what I made. Okay, I have them in a bunch of different fabric types. This is a pink one. So I'll show you what it looks like on. I'm 5'10", so I'm pretty tall. And you can see that this would cover my shoulders and I can wear it this way sort of around my shoulders or I could take it and tuck it into the neck of my shirt, of my top, and have that protect me from the bees. So this is a pink floral one that we made and the mesh here is navy blue. I like this because I can see through it pretty clearly and I could still see eggs in the hive um, as I'm examining frames. Um, but it's, and it's enough protection, but not like as overwhelming as a full bee suit. So here's this one that's kind of pink floral. Let's see, we have many of these yellow ones. I have a variety of different screens. This screen is a metal mesh screen and it's more like what they sell in um, a commercial beekeeping suit. And I just like this one because it's bright and cheerful and really fun. And this one could be tucked as well, but the, the wire does make it a little bit more stiff here. I can see folds right there that might be, yeah, I can still, I could still see bee eggs in a hive, which is your goal. Like you need to be able to see that to make sure your queen is doing well. And so if you can't see through your veil and examine the queen, then your hives might get in trouble without you even knowing, right? So we wanna make sure that we have a good mesh here that's gonna let us see through. Um, I also wore my Russian bee veil in mosquito country. Here's a cute one that's green with little brown swirls and rabbits. Um, I wore it in Minnesota when we went on a trip to the Minnesota Boundary Waters and um, it kept the mosquitoes off of my face and I really like that. So it's a bee veil slash mosquito hat if you need that. Be it beats deet, right? <laughs> okay, there's that one. So we have this pink one that has, this is some vintage fabric that I found at a yard sale and um, from our local antique dealer and bought it up and I thought it was so cute. The pink and brown is so fun. So some of these, so that's what this one looks like. <laughs> and then this red one is my favorite. I like this white mesh too. Um, I think it matches the red and white print really well. And then um, this one, you can still see through, but this one would be a little bit more challenging to see eggs, but still, still doable. And it's cute. And then the last one is this cute gingham green with bees on it here. And we can put that on. And the nice thing about this veil is that if you're tired or moving away from the beehive or need to drive from one apiary to the next, you can just move that up and over and then back down. It's a really cool and versatile bee suit. All right, thanks for watching. Oh.